want to, not that I'm going to make it really tall and skinny, but uh, there's no sense in me to make a low flat form, center, center my clay of this wide, and then try to bring that all up for a bottom. So if you're going to make something taller, start with something tall. Does that make sense? Now this is going to be good. You know what? I think I'll make it harder. Did you say a bird? I like birds. I like those cranes with a long neck. I'm going to make a long neck bottle. But i got to get this thing started. I'm messing with me. Because I had... Up and reach to take that out. <laughs> <laughs> edit, edit. <laughs> so centrifugal centering. To centrifugal center something, you've got to grip the inside and the outside and squeeze and push down. And hold still, hang on, because that's going to center it when it comes off center. Alright, so if I've got that, now I'm ready to pull up. So if it starts to come out at all, collar it in, keep it contained, keep it either into a cone or into a cylinder. If it comes out at all, show it to just show it who's boss. this into not just a, a really thick bottle. That's not the point. I'm going to make this later into a bird. So I want, I want to be able to get my hand down inside, right? And I've got a harder hunk in there. That's why it's... I want to get this set first. So I'm going to come down here. My clay is stiff. A lot stiffer than that other clay I've used. I've been having my bats do that a lot on the wheel where it makes that this little... This was like, mama, mama. Yeah, and then I just keep on going off center, it seems like. Well, yes and no. If you remember, like, when you're centering, 
it's how you release your hands mm -hmm. it's going to fall back into center it's not that you're jumping off the play so it doesn't really matter if this is kind of rocking it would if it's doing this mm -hmm. but the pot itself is gone so anyway what I'm going to do is start to belly this out and put a shape in here, but I don't want to go too far because I want to make a long bottleneck, right? And so I'm going to start pulling this neck up because the more I bring it in, the more it's going to do something cool. I'm going to set the shape of that, and I'm going to start right there. I'm going to start coming in here. I'm going to make this a long neck curve. So the longer the neck, the better what I want to do. So I want that little loop tool because I'm going to belly it out right now. But this has got to be smaller than this if you're planning on making a bottle. And what I normally do when I'm making those the thrown pieces with the... I use one of these. So I might push it out a bit more with this. But if, if you're shaping with a steep tool or doing some kind of a fork design, well, that's good because it can open that up. But before you get this too small, you got to get all that water out of the bottom. Otherwise, it'll cut a line right through there. Let's hope I didn't go too far so I didn't lose it. Start choking. All you guys are watching, I'll probably screw it up. <laughs> As you come in, the walls get thicker. Probably didn't help that I had a hump in there that was so hard. able to get my hand in there or I'm going to use a throwing stick if I can. A smaller throwing stick. So as I come in it gets thicker. So if I can't get it in I can reopen it or I can use one of these. It's called a throwing stick. So I go in here and I press against this because I'm pulling up. So if I push I see it. Oh I see it and i got to make sure I'm right under it. So you'll see where I am when I get up here. right under it like this, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm using the dowel on the other end to straighten it. So, the thicker it is, the harder it is to control. If I were to push down, it's just going to collapse, right? So then I like to set, because when I make my birds, usually I don't have such a bad kink in it, but I like to take on my birds and make the neck with a line. So I use the edge of this, the corner, I'm all swirly. Just go up, follow it. <coughs> I wait till it gets a little stiffer, but then I give it a twist. And then 
I'll put, I'll build like a little hand built and a little beak here. So like a little. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. That's nice. okay. My little snuffleupagus pods. That's what I started with, snuffleupagus, and then I think, you know, I have to put it.